and then we're gonna mix it up. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Roslyn and today I decided that I was going to cook y'all. I'm going to cook. I hardly ever cook. I mean, unless I just really feel like eating something. So today I will, I wanted to cook some um, meatloaf, some cabbage and some other side. I don't know, probably some macaroni and cheese or something. I'm going to check my pantry and see if I have, um, you know what I have, what ingredients I have, and if I don't have what I need, then I'm gonna go to the store. So I already know I got my ground beef. I thawed my ground beef out for my meatloaf. And I have some diced tomatoes because I put that in my cabbage. So let's see. Let's see what I have. Okay, so I definitely am gonna make some macaroni and cheese, y'all. I do know how to make um, homemade macaroni and cheese, but this is going to be something I'm just going to throw together right quick. So today we're going to use this deluxe craft macaroni and cheese, and it's going to eat just the same. Uh, what else we got? So it looks like we don't have the ingredients that we need to complete this meal. So I'm going to have to go to the store and get a whole bunch of other items um to make this meatloaf and to make um i don't have a cabbage or anything so i'm gonna put what i have over here and we are gonna go to walmart and we're gonna get the rest of the ingredients so i will see y'all at walmart we have made it to walmart so in here and try just to get the ingredients that I came in here for without getting anything extra that's why I hate coming to Walmart because they know the way they set up their stuff it's real easy to get stuff you don't need but I'm gonna try to go in here and get just the stuff I need and then come out of here I'll see y'all in the store okay so I made it in here to Walmart and I need an onion and the onion is hot as heck Walmart. Let me tell y'all about Walmart. They 
I worked at Walmart before, so I know that they don't get paid a lot. I know that they're not valued, but my cashier literally didn't speak to me, didn't tell me my total, didn't tell me I was done, didn't tell me nothing. She talked to her friend and behind her the whole time and then moved on. It's crazy out here. Walmart, y'all should treat y'all employees better so they can treat the customers better. It's ridiculous. Hey y'all, made it back home from Walmart and now I'm about to set up and cut my cabbage, cut up my bell peppers. And I'm about to cut up my onion. Also, I'm about to put some bacon in my ninja, which y'all need a ninja, y'all. This ninja is a, it, it cooks like it's um, a stove top, a slow cooker, and an oven. So I use this all the time, especially when I'm making cabbage. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get this cut up. But first I'm gonna go ahead and put the bacon inside there for my cabbage. I had a little onion left, so I'm probably gonna put this in the meatloaf since it's chopped up in little pieces. But right now, I am going to get this bacon put up in here. And get it started to cook. Get it started to cook. Get it starting to cook. So when it's time for my um, cabbage to go in there to be ready. So first I'm just going to cut this up. And I just put them together. And I just cut them up with my, um, my kitchen scissors. So I already preheated this. That's already preheated. Y'all don't think my camera is on. <laughs> I hope it was, but I just cut up this cabbage. So now I'm about to rinse it off. So we gonna rinse this off, y'all. It's crazy. I didn't really chop this cabbage up and been talking. that up the bacon is starting to cook so you want to keep all that bacon grease in there because that's gonna add some flavor to your cabbage so I'm just gonna let it simmer and I'm going to um, rinse this off So I can cut up the other vegetables.
add to this because I really need to get this onion started. Let's take this over here with the bell peppers. I had to cut it off a little bit because it was cooking faster and I was cutting. So we're gonna put that in there. Get all that onion. over here and we're gonna stir it all up see the bacon is already done in there I'm gonna let this cook before I put the cabbage in there just let it cook just a little bit all right and we gonna go ahead and get the meatloaf started y'all so I'm gonna turn the camera over here and the meatloaf I had, the meat I had found already. We're just gonna go ahead and put that in there. Okay. And I want to put this in here because when I get the vegetables, I'm gonna throw them in here as I cut them up. It looks like it's all, um, it's kind of a little frozen, but it's coming, it's coming to pieces a pretty good. Of course, gotta wash these hands. So I'm going to go ahead and cut the rest of this onion up. Oh yeah, I forgot. I had some onion I had frozen already. So I'm going to dump that in here. And then I'm going to cut the rest of this onion. And we'll come back to the bell pepper. Because you know, once you start cutting onion, it starts burning your eyes and you want to get that job over with. And I'm about to get some better knives, but I'm waiting till Black Friday, y'all. <laughs> All right. Gonna dice the onions up. Need to turn the oven on so let me turn the oven on to about 375 and let it warm up so the meatloaf can be getting started when i get done chopping up all these vegetables but yeah so i have my onion chopped up and i'm going to just put like maybe half of it in here and the other half i'm going to put in the zip lock. Yeah, 
in the Ziploc. We don't need all that onion. Several jobs going y'all y'all see I'm multitasking so these vegetables look like they getting pretty good they cooking pretty good inside here so I'm about to add the cabbage in here so anyway I'm gonna go ahead and get started putting the cabbage in here Like pepper. Salt. And we're gonna get it mixed up. Let me see if I can get y'all a little bit closer. So now we're gonna bring the bottom to the top. So that bacon and that onion and bell pepper, we're going to mix it in. And this is going to cook down pretty good. all the vegetables for the meatloaf in there the onion and the bell pepper now we're going to add our tomato sauce and we're going to add um an egg to it and some saltine crackers. So first and foremost, we're going to punch 
the mess out of these saltine crackers. And you can just get the cheapest crackers that you can find because there's one inside the meatloaf, so it doesn't matter. pretty good we're gonna season it first and we're gonna mix the vegetables up so some pepper just some black pepper and some salt a half when it's just a little bit too loose.
just going to dump that. You don't have to have one of those molding pans. You don't really need it if your meatloaf is not so loose. So, really you can just mold it inside the pan that you're going to cook it in. I'm gonna put it in the oven. Open my oven. And see if I can one hand this. Set that in the middle of the rack in the oven. Close that up. And it's probably gonna cook for like 45 minutes to an hour. So let's come over here to the cabbage you see it's already cooked down and you're just gonna stir it so all all of the ingredients can mix together it's much easier now that it's cooked down so I think this is about ready for me to put that can of diced tomatoes in it okay so I always add um, diced tomatoes or green chilies to it because it gives it like a little kick a little spice so let me go open this Okay, y'all, before my battery died, I just wanted to add the um, diced tomatoes with green chilies inside of the cabbage. Let y'all see that. And stir those in. And that just gives it a little added flavor. And it tastes so good, y'all. Y'all should add a can of diced tomatoes in there. You get a big difference. All right. We're gonna let that marinate together and I'll see y'all for the meatloaf. Okay, y'all, I done got in my pajamas now waiting on this meatloaf to cook. So it looks like it's done. I just need to add some, um, add some sauce to the top. Oh, this juice on top uh, on the bottom that I pour out I guess if you have like a better quality of uh, ground beef you won't have as much juice but that ain't what happened today so we're gonna pour as much as we can all right the meatloaf is looking done hopefully that's a good angle
and this is gonna go back in the oven get an overview. Alright, I'm going to put the meatloaf in the oven and I will talk to y'all later. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye y'all.